Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel, it's Rod here and today I'm going to show you some really delicious waffles, a fantastic recipe. It's a classic, it's easy, it's cheap, it's tasty. You can have them whichever way you want, you can have them savoury or you can have them with cream, jam, Nutella, it goes on and on and on. So, while you're watching this, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. I'm trying to build those numbers right up, so a little bit of help would be fantastic. And uh, that's enough of my talking, let's crack on. We're going to need these simple ingredients. One teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of sugar, one whole fresh egg, 250 grams of plain or self-raising flour, 140 grams of milk, and a drop of vanilla extract. Now get yourself a very large mixing bowl like this one. This is one of my favorites. And in here you want to put in all of your ingredients, dry and wet, but don't put the egg in, not just yet. And when it comes to the vanilla extract, I'm gonna be using about one teaspoonful. You can use a little bit more or a little bit less, according to your taste, obviously. Now we're going to give this a really good mix together with an electric mixer or a hand mixer if you want. When it's had this first mixing, I'm going to pop in the egg all in one lump and it goes plop. Give this a mix together as well. Get it all incorporated. Scrape down the sides. Quite often when you're doing a bit of mixing like this, you can see it's a little bit floury around the edge. So we want to get all that in. Give this one final mix. Now once it's all mixed up, it's ready to use. You can leave it to rest for a while if you want. You can save it in the fridge till tomorrow. But these ones I'm going to be doing straight away. So it's out with a waffle maker. Let it heat up. Let the little green light come on. Before I put it in, I know this is a non-stick waffle maker, but they, these do tend to stick a bit. So I pop in a little bit of butter. I'm going to brush that all the way around and the top bit cover it all over it doesn't take long it's dead easy really just helps with the sticking business so we're going to pour our mix in nice and steadily all the way over close the lid down and you're going to let these cook away for about five minutes until all the steamers come away of course some of the more expensive ones have got a timer anyway this is what you end up with brown crispy on the outside soft on the inside wonderful i do love these great for breakfast great for a snack great for any time of course you can have these like a dessert delicious with cream with nutella with maple syrup please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and i'll see you again in the next video in the next recipe so bye from me bye from rog and bye from my kitchen